Hello everyone, and in today's video we are going to check out how to blur an image. So first thing, let's, as usual, save our file in our JS um, and our folder. Let's call it blur.py. Okay, and once you save that. So the idea behind blurring an image is actually very simple. It's to get all the adjacent pixels uh, and find the average of their red, green, and blue values and make a new color out of those averages and set it equal to the center pixel. So we are of course again going to be using our get pixel method because we need to access adjacent pixels. So let's get started. Let's create our function. Let's just call it blur. It's going to take a picture as a parameter because we need to blur an image obviously. And we're going to make a copy of that. And we're going to use the function duplicate picture. Just makes an identical copy of the picture. If you haven't figured that out yet, well, you're in trouble. Uh, next, we are going to get the width and the height um, of our picture. There we go. Next, we're going to make those for loops, and we want to loop across um, all our pixels. But not all our pixels, because we just want to get the adjacent pixels that are uh, above, below, to the left, and to the right. We don't really care about those that are diagonal um, to our pixel. So we want to get only the pixels that um, are inside our picture frame but that are not on the edge of uh, the image. So we want to do something like in range of 1 to uh, height minus 1. Um, last time we just did height minus 1 because we didn't want the pixels at the very bottom of the image. Now we don't want the pixels at the very top of the image either just because we'd be accessing pixels that don't exist. And similarly for um, the x we would do x range, oops there, x range, from 1 to width minus 1. So this just, um, this just gets pixels that are within the picture but not on the, um, the sides, uh, I mean the top and the bottom, and this gets all the pixels um, in the x direction that are not on either side, but within the image. Okay, so once you've understood that, we can now get our adjacent pixels. First, let's get our original pixel, which I like to call just px. So we get that pixel in our picture at x, y, and just copy this and say, let's get our um, right pixel. Um, so right pixel, remember, is plus one. Our left pixel would therefore be minus one. Um, our pixel that is above us, I'll just call that up, um, it's going to be in the y direction, but it's not going to be y plus one, it's going to be y minus one because the, x uh, the y coordinates are flipped. And down is going to be y plus 1. Okay, cool. Now we have all our adjacent pixels. And if you want, you can also get the diagonal pixels. That wouldn't be too hard. Um, and you can test it out and see what you get and get back to me on that, because that might be interesting. It'd probably just be even blurrier. I really don't know. Um, next up, we want to make a function that will grab the average 
uh, red, blue, or green uh, color of all of these pixels. Now, um, I made a function for this and it works really nicely. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's call it um, color average. Okay. So you want to equal to lambda uh, function. And I'm going to be passing a function instead of um, a typical integer or a string. And you'll see why soon. And that's going to be equal to the sum map or function. Oops. Let's pull it over so you guys can see. Okay, so it's about function wrong. Function um, of our pixels px right, left, up, down, and of course all that divided by five because we want the average. Okay, you guys might be saying, oh shit, what the hell is all this crap? Um, so back from the start, um, average color is going to be a function that takes in a function as a parameter. And by function, and the only functions that we're going to be passing in here are get blue, get green, and get red. Okay? So, next what it does is it goes in here and the function map and sum are two built-in Python functions. And map just simply loops through a list meaning this list, which are all pixels, and applies this function to them. So say we passed in get red as our function, then we'd get the red value for uh, this pixel, that pixel, and all these five pixels. And this you could think of now as a list of the red values of, for all these pixels. And sum adds the sum of all these pixels, and then once that's done, you divide by five and gets the average. It's just pure genius. Okay. So now that you understand how that works, we can now say our red um, average is now going to equal to the color uh, uh, average of get red and the um, green average is going to be equal to the color average of get green and the blue average to the color average of get blue. So these variables will store the average red uh, value contained within all these pixel this one the green and this one all the blue average okay self-explanatory now we need to make a new color which I'm going to call the blue color I'm going to make a color and remember this takes a red green and blue value for the red we're going to get the red average over here the green the green average and blue of course the blue average so this is going to make a new new color which I call the blur color because it's the, the average of all our adjacent pixels and we are going to set the color of our, our pixel to that so set the color of a pixel to a color which color our blur color and which pixel? Uh, the current pixel we're on. So um, this one right here. Or you can think of this as uh, the center pixel. Okay. Okay. Get rid of this comment. And once we are done all of that, um, we can return um, our. Oh, right, like this. Line one more. Presentation, I think. Yep, we're in line. Uh, so return picture. Um, so we return our blurred picture. Okay. 
Now let's go to the command area and let's make our original picture. It's going to be equal to a picture object, make picture, and we're going to go grab a picture in the finder. Da, 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 da. Down here, JS uh, images, and I think it was image five that was pretty good for this. So let's show it original. This is what it looks like somewhere deep in our galaxy. Um, now let's make it blur. So blur is going to equal to our blur function of that original image. And it's like, oh shit, crash. Um, okay. Apparently I defined green up here, but green is not um, what I wanted. I want green average, like that. Now, don't forget to reload your program. And let's call that function once more. And let's wait for it to blur. Uh, and I'm sure it's almost done because those are pretty small images. So I'm going to show, show blur. Oh yeah, that turned out really nice. Okay, and this one. So you guys can definitely see that this one is way more blurry than this one, which is actually pretty sharp. So let me just go over this function one more time. So we have a function called blur, takes a picture. We do a copy of that picture right here, we get the width and the height. And here we loop through the y coordinates, um, uh, excluding the first pixel at top and the last pixel. And we loop through the x coordinates, excluding the first one and the last one, so we don't reach pixels that are out of bounds. Next, we get um, our original pixel and all its adjacent pixels. Next, we uh, make a function called color average, and what it does essentially is it returns the average of all our adjacent pixels uh, listed here. And don't forget to divide by five. Next, we call our function color average um, to get the red average, the green average, and the blue average of all our adjacent pixels. And you also need to specify uh, which function is used to grab those uh, color values. Next, we make a new color called blur color of our averages uh, right up here. And we set the color of our pixel to that blur color and return our picture. So that all works really great. So guys, thank you for watching and hope to catch you guys next time.